Oh boy, over 6,000 armor rating in Cyberpunk 2077. I can no longer take any damage. Even on the hardest difficulty, I just cannot be killed. I have successfully broken the game, my friends. And in today's Cyberpunk 2077 video, I'll be showing you how to do the exact same thing completely for free. You can get all of this armor for free. First, I'll be showing you how to get the full set of Nomad themed legendary armor for free. You can do this really early on in the game, and then I'll show you how to upgrade it using clothing mods to get over 6,400 armor rating. Now, if you do not like the Nomad Rocker clothing fashion style, don't worry. I've already posted a guide on how to do the exact same thing, but with the Corpo armor yesterday. I'll link that video down below. However, I will say that I have answered a lot of your questions from the comments section in this video in a very clear way. So I recommend watching this video first and then watching the other one just to find out where the legendary corpo clothes are. I'm also going to be giving away any game of your choice. It could be cyberpunk, anything you like. All you need to do to enter is like the video and then leave a comment below and you need to be a subscriber to win. If you also leave your Steam username, it's so much easier for me to contact you. So this first legendary piece of armor is located here in Watson, in the south end just down here. So let me zoom into the map for you guys. Use this bridge that enters Watson as a reference point just here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in now. Now as you guys can see, I'm standing on this road here. So if I zoom in here, you can see to the right of the road, there will be a fast travel point once you discover it. I'm starting from this road because this place is an absolute maze. It's got like lots of different layers to it. So start from this road like where I am and then we're going to go over to this fast travel point called the Bellevue Overwalk. So you guys can see we're on this road and the fast travel point is just down that road. You see if I can cross without getting run over. So as you guys come down here you will see there's kind of like an overwalk just above here. You just walk up these stairs that was the fast travel point i was talking about and then if you go left and up this staircase here you're going to want to save the game here this is very important for every legendary item that you ever pick up in the game if you're watching my guide anyone else's guide it doesn't matter always save the game beforehand and then you're going to walk to the end of this boardwalk and you'll see the legendary item right there these always spawn here, guys. I'm level 11. It 100% spawns here on every character, no matter your level. So as you guys can see, this is the duo layer polymide rocker vest. So go ahead and pick that up. That is what it looks like. Now, two very important things you guys need to know. I had some comments in my last video, firstly, that said, oh, the armor rating is lower than the one I picked up. Well, one of the reasons for that is, guys, is if you look at your character, your technical ability increases your armor rating by 5% with each rank. So I have le so I have 12 technical ability, which means 12 times 5 is 60% increase in armor, which is why my items are going to have a different armor value to yours. Well, you can actually also upgrade your armor value right to the armor cap. So just carry on upgrading whatever piece of armor it is. You can see it's gone from 98 very slowly up to 105. So you can get every piece of armor in the game to the armor cap before you add clothing mods. Also, another thing that's even more important than that and why we made the save is that you can see this legendary item only has one mod slot and also the mods on the item are always random. So basically, you want to reload the game now until you find this exact same item with four legendary slots which is the max random amount of mod slots that the item will spawn with. So let's go ahead and reload that save we just made. So as you can see, I'm back here. We're going to go pick up the item once again. I know this just takes me long to show you guys, but I feel like people don't understand what this, how this works. So I go to my inventory again. I have a look at the item. Oh, look, now it has four legendary mod slots. You can replace all of these mods and the mods that you have in the item will be random. Sometimes you have to reload like five or seven times to actually get one with four mod slots, but you want to do that 
with every single legendary item you find in this video. Because then, as I'll explain later on in the video, when you come to mod the armor to get a ridiculous armor rating, you will have four mod slots to put the armor mods in. So now I'll show you guys where to find the next piece of armor. Oh, by the way, guys, you also get this really hilarious hat at this location as well. It's not like iconic or unique, but it just looks hilarious. So make sure you wear that. So next, my friends, we're going to be grabbing the Nomad t-shirt. And to do that, we need to come all the way to the south of the map, just over here, where you will find like the border of Night City. And there's basically like a road that goes all the way around the edge of the border. And you'll find this one straight road just here. This is the road you want to come down specifically like halfway pretty much along this road is where i am now and once you reach here if you look around you'll see there's kind of like a sticking up rock to the right hand side and then if you look to the left drive kind of like directly left from that rock away from the road and you'll be able to see this really old looking trailer van just here so go ahead and get out and then you'll find the legendary nomad t-shirt just here the polycarbonate nomad shirt with reinforced seams to be exact a level requirement of 20 to equip so next in the south of night city in santo de monaco we're going to be picking up the aviator sunglasses which are really cool because they actually have four legendary slots obviously and we are just here on the map, as you guys can see, in the Rancho Coronado area on the map. Let me go ahead and zoom in. You can see this big building just here as a reference point, And we're also near the motorway here. It's kind of like a residential area, though. You'll see two question mark boxes if you've not already picked them up. And just here is where you want to be. So as you can see, we are just here. Residential area just there. Uh, once you're on this road, you're going to want to jump down to the underpass below. Wow, physics. So as you guys can see, there's this concrete underpass looking structure. Underneath this pillar here, you're actually going to find a rocker chick who rocked out a bit too hard here. As you can see, she has the scratch resistant polarized rocker aviators. Mine only has one legendary slot, so I'm going to go ahead and reload. And now you can see the face coverings have free mod slots that I can equip different clothing mods into. Now, just so you guys know, the torso has four clothing mods and every other item of clothing has a maximum of free clothing mods. So you're essentially going to want to keep reloading until you get free clothing mod slots. The only item of clothing that has four slots is the chest armor. Next, we're gonna be grabbing the puncture resistant ankle boots for rockers. It's located here in the city center of Night City, right on the very edge of the map. Here in the top corner, there's a fast travel point called Skyline and Republic. Now, just to the right of that fast travel point, you'll find like a T-junction that goes directly north towards the river. That's where you want to start. This is the T-junction with crossing. And if we go towards the river now, oh my God, it's so crowded suddenly. You'll find this big sort of uh, black building here and you can walk all the way through here, all the way to the end. And then you'll find the sea just beyond the sea here is actually a barred door now you can't get in here unless you have the right tech skill so what you're going to do is just jump over and around now make sure you save the game here if you are uh, collecting these items with the max legendary slots and just up here there's a bunch of bodies that have been thrown out for some reason this lady just here has the puncture resistant rocker ankle boots as you guys can see so go ahead and pick those up now do bear in mind that these shoes are green and they have a level requirement of 30 which is rather high so instead i'm going to give you an alternative pair of shoes that i think actually suit the outfit better so we're going to go once again to watson and we're going to come over here on the map specifically to you see this large skyscraper building just to the east, you'll find this circle roundabout here. This is where you want to come, specifically on the south side where I'm standing just here. Once you arrive, you'll recognize the place you've been here before. Turn around directly and you actually find 
on the other side there's actually like a little way through to Chinatown just kind of like a little market district just down here and if you go inside and turn left and then left again you'll find there's actually a lift here you can open the lift and then come in inside and you can choose floor three that's going to take us up to the road above once you're here just leave the elevator go left and left again and you will find these legendary shoes just here the gold tip manganese steel solo boots jesus didn't mean to smash everything on your stool lady these boots give you 105 armor in total next for our pants we're going to head over to watson just here on the map now zoom in to the south of watson in uh, little chinatown and you're going to see this sort of big area of red here now there's a main road this blue road here that goes all the way through this location use that as your reference point because we're right in the middle just here next to the metro farrier street fast travel location just here so you guys can see that is the blue road i was talking about right there above us we're going to want to turn directly to the right so we're facing west on the map here and we're going to find our secret collectible just over here i'll show you guys where it is now you've got your orientation just on the right here you're going to want to go down here you're going to see that target just there and on the right hand side there's a bunch of kids Arrive freaking out here and you'll street. find this Pop dead police officer Dark with anti-puncture neotac right pants with composite Arrive lining to to and now we have our awesome looking blue pants i actually really like these pants they're like racer pants they look awesome now i appreciate those pants are rather blue so you may not like them so let me show you another pair of legendary pants that actually suit our outfit better they're located over here in the Santo Domenico area, right at the edge of Night City. Just go ahead and zoom in. There's a ring road that goes around the city here and a curvy road that comes back into it just over here. Right near the Tama Viewpoint fast travel area, you will see I'm standing just over here. That's where you want to come, essentially. It really is the best view of Night City, though, in the game, I think. It looks amazing. Anyway, there's a car park nearby, and uh, I don't, yeah, I don't really know why. Jesus, what's going on here? The legendary cargo pants are just here on this guy. Reinforced duo layer techie cargo pants. And as you guys can see, they suit this outfit so much better, in my opinion. So once you've found the entire legendary armor set, your character will have an appearance of this. I'll show you how to upgrade the armor value in a moment, but the only thing we don't have is a legendary hat. Now you can get a legendary hat for free in the game, but it just doesn't suit the nomad character style. Now it's very easy to go and buy yourself a epic or legendary hat. Just come over here on the map to the Badlands area and you can find a clothing store. Any of the sort of clothing stores on the outskirts of the map will usually sell Nomad clothing. So in order to find yourself a good hat that's actually decent in quality, just go ahead and speak to them. As you can see, she is selling an epic cowboy hat. But if she isn't selling anything that you want, go ahead and exit the shop, walk away from her, and then just skip time for 24 hours like so. After 24 hours, just come back to the shop and as you guys can see, they will have restocked their inventory and have new things to sell. But what you can also do is you can actually find and craft the Sandy Boa Shock Absorbent Headband. And this is a three piece legendary slot crafted item. And I thought it looked very nomad. Now, in order to get the crafting recipe for this item, you must actually go to a certain location on the map. So let me show you how to grab it. So this particular location is in the very south of the map, right at the bottom of these big silos here. You're going to find a small petrol station. That's where we are. So as you guys can see, this is a petrol station. And even though this is a hostile area, I literally just walked into this area and didn't have an issue. I mean, you didn't even need to kill anyone. You can obviously stealth your way through it as well, but for some reason, none of the AI actually triggered when I just walked in here like this. You want to come under the stairs here? There's like a secret entrance. 
Now in this container just here, you should find the Sandy Boa Shock Adsorbent Headband Crafting Recipe. Since I already got it in another location, it has instead just spawned the item here instead. So now if you go ahead and craft this item, it will have three legendary slots for you to put clothing mods into. Alternatively, if you carry on doing gigs, you'll probably come across the Sandy Boa Shock Adsorbent Headband in a varying quality. The epic version has two mod slots. Now, in order to upgrade your weapons to this level of ridiculousness, you will only need level 12 technical crafting to do this method. Also note that you get a 5% increase in armor for every one technical attribute point you have invested. So 12 times 5 is a 60% increase to the base rating of your armor anyway. So technical is a very good investment. Firstly, you need to get the armadillo clothing mod. So let me show you how to get that first. You're going to need to come over here on the map to the area of Watson. Right over here in the east of Watson in Northside, if you go ahead and zoom in to this really big road just here, you'll basically find a gang location just here on the map, as you guys can see. This is where the river is. Go directly north from here underneath this big bridge and you will find an assault in progress location. That is where you're going to find the guaranteed drop of the armadillo clothing mod. It is an absolute nightmare to find from a shop, even if you reset their inventory by waiting 24 hours repeatedly, it just does not seem to spawn. So you guys can see I'm standing on the north side right now. You've got to go through an alleyway just here in order to get to this location. So as you guys can see, here I am. You can see the big road just above me. And this is the alleyway right in front, front of me, pretty much, where you're going to find the enemy gang members. If you guys want a really broken smart pistol, by the way, I'll be making a video about that and linking it in the playlist below. Pretty much every single hit is a critical hit. It's, it's pretty disgusting, to be honest. Anyway, you can grab the mission reward just here. Then on the left, you will find the crafting spec for Armadillo. So you can just grab it out of this box here. And now if you guys go to the crafting menu, you can now craft the Armadillo mod. There you go. So go to your character, click on technical ability. Make sure that you have the true craftsman perk, which allows you to craft rare items. Grease monkey allows you to craft epic items. And then most importantly, you need X Nilo, which grants a 20% chance to craft an item for free. Now, the way this works is that you're going to craft common armadillo mods. And each time you craft one, you have a 20% chance or randomly crafting one that's rare epic quality. So I recommend saving the game and then just crafting a bunch of them. So just go ahead and craft like 15 of them or so. As you can see, they only cost seven common item components and two uncommon item components. So they're the easiest thing to craft in the game. It's ridiculous. So as you guys can see, I've just made one, two, three epic armadillo clothing mods that increase my armor by 239 each. I've also got loads of rare ones and loads of common ones too. And I can sell all of these because they're worth more than the crafting components I use to make them. So then you can buy more crafting components and then just carry on doing the same thing. Or you can deconstruct them for experience and to get additional crafting components back. And this is all thanks to the X Nilo perk which grants a 20% chance to craft an item for free and the fact that you have the Grease Monkey perk so you can craft epic items. That's why you're getting all these free epic items. So essentially just sit here and keep crafting armadillo mods until you have lots of epic mods to then insert into your clothing and that is how you're going to get the highest armor rating in the game. Obviously, you can also buy legendary armadillo mods, but it's going to be a lot more expensive for you to do so. So now we just need to go ahead and put all of our armor mods into our armor. As you can see, currently I'm just using epic quality, which means if you had legendary armadillo mods, you could get even higher armor rating. But currently I don't have legendary, so I'm just using epic. 
Obviously, you don't have to put armor mods in there. You could instead, for example, use Fortuna, 15% increased critical hit chance, or Deadeye, which gives you 30% crit damage and a 15% crit chance increase. But in total, you can put 20 epic armadillo mods onto your legendary armor, and we don't even have an additional special piece of armor equipped, and even then, we have over 6,460 total armor now. You guys can see the vest alone has 1160 armor on its own. So yeah, absolutely insane way to get stupidly high armor rating in Cyberpunk 2077. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe for future ones. And obviously you can also get the Corpo suit version of this link down below in the description too. And if you guys haven't already yet picked up your Nomad car, you can do that at any point in the game. So make sure you go back and grab it. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.